welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a few of my winter wardrobe essentials. So we'll be going through this video in terms of tops, bottoms, coats, and accessories. I hope to make this a little bit more simple in terms of a wardrobe capsule. Obviously, I do not really count myself as a minimalistic when I am dressing up. But I do think that it's helpful to have a few key pieces in mind for those days where you just want to run out of the house and also feel put together and she gets sick so my first clothing piece that I would recommend for a basic wardrobe is a black fitted top and I thought about this and I thought that maybe I should include different colors but I think I like to keep it simple and easy because a black fitted top is really easy to layer underneath a really thick winter jacket. So for me, I do think that a Boussé top one keeps me very warm because it really hugs the figure. So it's kind of like a thermal underneath. And then two, it also looks really great when you take off your winter coat. Sometimes I feel like a lot of people think a lot about their winter coats and like what they wear outside. But then when they come inside and indoors, they take off their coats and then you don't really have a cute outfit on anymore. So I do think that investing in a statement boosty top for the winter time is a key piece to looking chic in the winter months. So my first recommendation here is a Kate Esta top and I really like this because of how it hugs the figure. And this top here is also very, very warm. So on those really cold winter days, I like to pop this on and instantly I feel very warm and I really love how this complements the body really nicely. I got a size medium and it actually came really, really fitted, but over time it really does morph to your body shape. So I really do think that this is a really great piece to have. Now my second top that I would recommend is this New Arrivals Boosty top. I just got this so I haven't really worn this out yet, but I really like how this is a statement piece as well. With the heart shaped neckline over here, it is a velvet texture. So whenever I am thinking about layering outfits together, I'm always thinking of different textures that will go together. And I do think that velvet is a beautiful fabric to wear in the winter months. At least my last boost day top that I recommend is this Versace top. I really like how this is such a beautiful piece, yet it doesn't scream Versace in your face. It has the beautiful Medusa logo in the middle here. And I really love how there's a cut up detail on the side here. And it just creates a little bedazzle, a little something something on the side here. Could be a conversation starter as well because of how beautiful this top is. So, so that's that. That is all of the tops that I would recommend. They are very similar in style, but yet different for different occasions. And I do think that this one here is really great to wear for a night out. And this one as well, I think you can make it more casual. And for the K top, I feel like this is just a very easy like daytime look that you can just pop onto the office and be really comfortable in. Okay, so on to my next category of bottoms and pants. I decided not to include any skirts in this video because let's be honest, when it is freezing outside, I don't really want to be going out in tights and skirts. So I opted for jeans and I feel like over the past year, my style has become a little bit more casual and more wearable. I think a big part of it is also because I used to be working from home since I was on the retouching team at Moda Operandi. And now that I am a full-time photographer there, I like to wear things that I can move around in and squat and not flash people. It's not a cute look to be flashing the model that I'm working with. So I opted for jeans and pants for my essentials in this video. And my first one is these jeans from Generica. I have worn this so much on my channel. You guys are probably sick of hearing it. But I really like how this is such a beautiful fit on me. It hits high-waisted and it goes all the way on the bottom. It does flare out and I do find that I like these kind of 
comfortable flare out jeans more than the skinny tight ones and it's just a little bit more comfortable to work in the, the pockets are the selling points here and i really like how this has a contrast stitching with the dark blue against the brown so this fits really beautifully on second option here are these leather pants and these ones are a goldie and I have worn it so much that you can tell from the leather that it has a lot of like stretch marks now. But I like this because it just creates a little bit of texture in a outfit. It gives a little bit of shine depending on the lighting. And I really like how casual it is and very, very warm as well. It comes with a lining underneath. So it doesn't feel like the leather is stuck to your skin. So. Yeah, this, these pants are very, very well made, very well loved. I think I've had this for about two seasons now, and I'm very excited to bust her out again this season. Now my third pants are the Effortless Pants from Aritzia, and I have this in three colorways. I have them in white and black, but I picked this color for this video because of how the texture is on the pants. It has like a beautiful herringbone texture to it. And it just creates a little bit of interest in the pants. I also find that these kind of workwear pants are very useful to go into the office for sure, but also very casual. You can dress it down as well. I like this color because whenever I'm wearing a black dark top, I, this pairs really nicely with it. This is also 100% cotton and it feels so nice on the skin. I just cannot stand wearing fabrics that are cheap and not comfortable to the skin because, I don't know, I feel like I'm growing up now. Um, long gone are the days where I'll wear a Zara pants and then find that it's not the most comfortable and then end up donating it. So. I really love this. I do think that is a really great price point for the fit of it. It just sits really nicely high-waisted. And I don't know, the pleating of this, I think Aritzia just nailed it in terms of the fit of this. And I also really love how this comes in different heights as well. So you can do regular, tall, and short. And I did the regular for this. I am 170 centimeters and it just hits really nicely. I didn't have to tailor it or anything. Okay, so my last one here is a piece that I just recently bought. This is a Citizens of Humanity jeans. I was looking for something that is very comfortable to wear to the studio, something that I can squat in, something that I can move in. So these cargo pants sits low-waisted which is really nice because sometimes after a big, big lunch, I come in, come back to the studio feeling really bloated. So this ha having this sit low waist sit is really comfortable to my tummy area. I also really love how the pockets are very usable. So if I were to go on a photo shoot, I can just put my lens caps in here, put my lens caps in here or my extra batteries in here as well. So yeah, these are all of the pants that I would recommend in the winter time. So my next category here are blazer coats and I love wearing blazers in the spring and fall months but I find that blazers can be a little bit too thin to be worn as a outer coat um, in the winter so I opted for these blazer coats that are thicker in material and very well fitted to the body. So my first one is this Kate blazer and it has this gray herringbone texture to it. I love the fit of this. It just hugs the figure in all of the right places. And it's so, so warm. I really like wearing this, especially when I don't know what to wear. It also comes with a matching pant set. And I find that when worn together, it just gives a very easy, effortless look. And it also makes me feel very polished and well put together. Now my next one here is a lighter color one, and this one I recently got from Bessier. This is a Dior bar coat, and I find that this bar coat is just such a iconic coat to the brand. When you look at it on the streets, you will know that this is Dior just from the fit of it. 
kind of similar to the Kate one, but the Kate one is wool, so it's very, very thick. And this one is for those like slightly warmer days. This is wool as well, but it's very thin. I really like how this gives a very fitted yet slightly masculine look. And if you want to make it a little bit more feminine, you can just put a belt over it. So yeah, really good find. Last but not least, I have this blazer from Chanel. And I'll link a fall haul in the cards up above where I shared about this too. So this blazer is very, very well loved. I have not worn it out yet because I love it so much that I don't want to destroy it. I know. I should, I really should wear this out. This is such a statement piece from Chanel. I really love the tweed and the different textures on it. It also has this like beautiful shine to it because of the sequence that is run through the side over here. I really love the contrast fabric over here. It has a white rope texture that runs through the edges. And I find that it just creates a little bit of something something. And it's just a really beautiful piece. Oh, and also the buttons here. The buttons sold me when I tried this on in Japan. All right, my next category here are outer coats. And these three coats are all super, super warm, keeps you warm and toasty. And I'm all about keeping warm and toasty and not freezing my butt off. So my first one here I recommend is this Totem one. It has a, it is the Sherling coat with this beautiful hardware here. I just find that this lock over here is such a unique detail to the coat and it's so beautiful. Again, with the contrast color here, I really like how the shirling looks against the black ties on this um, closure. I do think that this hook here is so unique and I really like how it is really big and puffy so that you can layer a lot of thermals underneath. And then my second coat over here is also another Totem coat. Totem is such a good brand to buy it into because of the price point and the quality. I feel like it really is kind of the quality of Kate, but with a lower price point. So this one here is the scarf jacket. I know a lot of people has it now, and there are a few dupes of it that I've seen online. I really like how, again, with the contrast, um, white and black over here, such a beautiful detail. And I really like how there's like a little like scallop detail in the embroidery on the edges here. I really like this because I don't have to be wearing a additional scarf and I always lose my winter accessories. So I like how this is already attached onto the jacket. I don't have to worry about losing or leaving behind a scarf when I go out to a restaurant or something. And the last jacket that I have is a Max Mara coat. And this one here is the Icon coat. Very classic to the brand. I like how this is in a white instead of a regular black coat. I was debating between the white and the brown, but I decided on getting the white because of how bright it is. I also do think that a lot of people in the winter time always opt for darker colors. So I like how this is a pop of color in the midst of a sea of blacks in New York. Yeah, this coat has worked over time. Sometimes I'm like sweating when I wear this out because of how warm it is, which kind of surprises me because of how kind of thin it is. There is a lining underneath, but it's not like a really thick, thick material that, you know, like the teddy bear coat, for example, is. So this really surprised me in terms of how warm it has kept me. It also hits on a, it hits me um, right below the knee or maybe like three, four inches below the knee. So it is long enough to cover my legs when it's very cold. And it also gives a really nice slouchy feeling to the shoulders here, but not too slouchy that it drowns you in your figure. So yeah, another really great find for the winter time. Okay, so now moving on to bags over here. I have a few really great options. Um, 
First off, this half moon bag from The Row really surprised me because of how it is so versatile for winter clothing. I really like this cognac color. It's such a beautiful brown color and it's kind of like a chameleon. So when you wear this against a white coat, it becomes a brighter brown. And when you wear it against a darker color, it becomes a darker brown. So I really love how this looks against um, different kind of clothing and I like how that the I really like how the zipper is a gold one but you can't really see it so it is quite versatile in terms of the hardware and the jewelry that you want to pair with generally I would pair this color with like gold hoops for example but I don't mind wearing it with something with like a silver buckle for example uh, but I also don't mind wearing it with like silver diamonds in my ears for example now my next piece here is the also another row bag. I don't know what the name is. I have not worn it out. There's still the tags over here, um, but I do like the shape of it. And it's such an elegant bag with very little branding on it. There is the sign of the row, I think. Oh wait, there. Oh wait, no, you can see it over here. So it's very, very subtle. You can't really see it. And I like how it is just like a really nice creamy handbag. I do have the mini Jodi, which I have worn to death the past few winters. And I have worn it so much that it is so used and abused. <laughs> and I think it's time for an upgrade. And this is my upgrade from the mini Jodi bag. And then my next bag here is the Alaya heart bag. And this here, I actually really loved the Chanel one, the Chanel heart bag, but couldn't get my hands on it. And I also felt it in person through the secondhand market and I felt like the leather was not the best material because it is lambskin but the lambskin that Chanel does right now is not the best lambskin because you can get it indented really quickly so when I tried it on the secondhand market I decided not to get it instead I got this Alaya heart bag and no regrets here <laughs> I think that this is such a unique conversational starter when people see this on the streets they're like oh my god it's such a cute little handbag um, but yeah again with the hardware it is so invisible it has a great it has a silver zipper but you can't really see it so it's so versatile in terms of what jewelry you can pair it with and then my next bag that I have is not really a bag it's a cute little wallet on chain in the winter months I like to wear a really big tote bag and because the tote bag is more for usability and it is kind of a dumping ground for everything I need in the winter such as like big gloves, big scarves and um, water bottle whenever I go out. I like to just bring a little bit of something nice, something that's not too big because I don't want to be carrying extra weight. But this is just a really cute wallet on chain that just creates something of interest in your outfit. And what I love about this is that it is a champagne hardware. So it is gold sometimes, depending on the clothing item you wear, and silver as well, depending on how it reflects your clothing that day. This is a very well-loved bag in the winter months. Last but not least, I have my Kelly 28 in the box leather. And I recently got a Twilly um, from Singapore and I think that this pop of yellow is really beautiful against the yellow hardware of the bag. I love this bag so much and I need to wear her out more often with winter clothing. I actually like the size of this. I think the 28 size is really great in terms of putting a lot of necessities. I can put in a water bottle in here from Muji, this, the small little bottle. Um, and and then also I can I can put in my extra gloves, my vlogging camera if I need to bring it out. And even though I have had this for a year, I feel like it is actually a very easy leather to deal with. If I do have a little bit of scratch on it, I can just buff it out with my fingers. So I think box leather is actually a, it's a lot easier. You don't really need to baby it as much as you think you have.
This is the last category of this video. It is footwear and my first one that I would recommend are the Chanel ballet flats and I have them in two colorways. I have one in a denim texture with the classic crisscross um, stitching from Chanel and then this is also a very very classic piece it is the beige with the black toe cap here and I do think that these two shoes are very 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 classic and easy to wear in the winter months and what I love about it the most is that I don't have to be wearing socks with them and on to another kind of ballet flats. These ones are from the row. These ones has the straps on them. I don't think these are called ballet flats. I think they're called the Mary Jane flats. But these are also super comfortable and I can wear this, test it and tried and test it. I can wear this for about two hours. I have walked from the Lower East Side all the way to downtown Manhattan in these. And these are very easy to wear and I also kind of like wearing it with socks as well when it gets too cold, even though I really hate wearing socks in the winter time. And then the next item here is these pointy boots from Acne Studios. I've had this for four years now and recently brought it to the cobbler to get a little bit of a refresh. These are so comfortable. You can see how worn it is with how the top over here has so much wrinkling on the, on the front here, but they are so comfortable. And I do like wearing like long, long jeans with a cute little pointy toe over here to um, make an outfit more interesting. It also does have a very baby kitten heel of one inch here, so it's very easy to walk in. And last but not least, I have these sneakers here. They are leather white sneakers. They are the Prada and Adidas um, limited edition collaboration that I got many, many years ago. I thought that I would be selling them, but Let's be honest, I have not sold them. I'm too lazy to do that, to do so. So I am wearing this for the winter months. That's all of my basic items in my winter wardrobe that I would recommend. Let me know which was your favorite outfit in the comments below or your favorite item that you also find that is very versatile to wear. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.